Okay, stand, stand up, please. Stand up. I will see how you do. The Chinese we speak. In Tattoo Thai boxing, this way. But Chinese Kung Fu do this way. Right hand hold the fist. The left hand open. And this call in Chinese we speak. In, well. Okay, sit down, please. Seminar in New Zealand. What's the reason I'm going to do the seminar this year? Because open the gym 1975. I I come from Hong Kong to Wellington uh, do teaching. I I come Wellington about after two months and I start teaching people. I don't know anybody. I just I'm confident because I think I'm good enough in teaching people. I think I'm good, good enough. I'm fast, I train hard. In the time I'm only 29 years old. I come to New Zealand 15 September. In, in 5th October, the Chinese National Day, I went to see the demonstration. Demonstration, Lolo lo, Kung Fu, Thai boxing, uh, uh, Karate, Taekwondo. Uh, boxing, you can do the missing. After I see the people talking, uh, how good they are, how, how good they are, how good, how good. And for me, uh, they come. I'm, I've been in Hong Kong, in China, I've been doing so long, I know. I think uh, they're they okay, nothing special. How come I start teaching Kung Fu? Speak about 1967, I'm in China. One day, I got the small factory. One day, the, after the work, and we just have a cup of tea. And one my, my, my relation, yeah, he, he's a cousin, he do about Tai Chi, also he do Liga for, for war. Well, he's, he's, he's teaching, he's she who lives next door to him. And he been trying to show everyone oh, I think how good his Kung Fu. Talk, 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 very good for talking. Good, <laughs> <laughs> not good talking. And but he's my, my, I realize my, my cousin, I think, I can't sing much, I think, uh, not, not, Kung Fu not only talking, accent is more important. And when I think that he is older than me, a couple of years older than me, that time I'm only 20 years old. I started doing Kung Fu in 1961, after five years. And he stop sell somebody something. And I, I, I think talks nothing. Put the hand in, and you know who's best, who's best. And he he been do Tai Chi do Liga for long long time too. And he said okay. He, when I think that we are so long the people there, and he said okay. So I said, okay, so I. And when he touched my hand, two times, not one time can pass five seconds. He's dead in the floor. He touched my hand. I, I just touched my hand so fast and so strong. This time I turned really hard. He only lasts more than, not more than five seconds of them. And he, he doesn't know what my, all my friends say. What's happening? <laughs> so quiet, you don't know what's happening. He go there. He said, he asked me, I was going to come on, come on, come on. One more time, I said, yeah. First time, I put him down the other way. Second time, he said, you go, they what? Next time he touched, I put down to this way. Two times, or no more than five seconds. 
And all my friends, he said, wow, Philip, uh, how come we, we don't know you so good kung fu? And he, they, uh, this is why they asked me to teach him since, since 1967. I start 1961. My shifu is left same street me. I live number 12. He live about number 20 something like that. No far anyway. In night time, yeah, he take me go to the park. Sometimes if no raining, he go to the park to train. In if raining, yeah, he train my 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 home. Got the steam room, not very big, enough for training in the country, not his much room. Liga is come from southern China. Come from southern China. In China, there's so many different kung fu, different style of kung fu. If you go to the different city, different countryside, or have different style. Like you go to Wellington, or South Island, or different. Star. Normally, southern China kung fu, or like it's more more hang, it's lot 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 lots hang, uh, or out by in hang. In in this northern, like it's lot of kicking, lot of kicking, high kick, low kick. Southern, no, no it's it's more hang, or different stuff. In I, I started with Liga because the time Liga in in my 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 city, I live there. It's very popular. A lot of people, about seventy percent people do kung fu. To seventy percent go Liga. In I know Liga very big name. So I start with Liga. I after I do. Six year, and I go to the Hong. I teach him. I go. I go to the Hong Kong. Hong Kong. My uncle just he he, he before he starts training same time my Sifu. Yeah, he just opened the gym, and I see him, and he asked me to try how his 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 gym. He just opened. That's 1968, and I stay for a couple of years to help him. In 1975, I come to New Zealand. In 1975, I come to New Zealand. I live in Wellington for two years. For teaching in Wellington two years. First, I teaching in my, my flat, small one. The, we saw the sting room thing. Enough for me, 10 people training. Up there, not long. In two small, in high the church. Church Hall to teaching, about one, one week teaching three, four times. To 1977, I'm, I come to Oakland and my, my friend tell me, yeah, okay, Philip, I hear you teaching Kung Fu in Wellington. He said, why you not, not come to Oakland? Oakland, more people, more, more people, uh, more more things can happen. And he said, come on, come on. I, I help you find the pies. I said, and I said, okay. And he helped me find the pies. First, I'm teaching in the um, Hobson Street, Eula, Eula, Eula Scott Cup. And after he found the pies for me, this is the Lolo Scott, number 80, yeah. Alba Street, yeah. the top floor. I, I, this is the time uh, I start there. In the time, uh, I teaching two weeks in Wellington, two weeks in Open. In the time, no lot like now, a lot of people training. Not that many people training, no. And I go go Wellington for teaching two weeks, come Open teaching two weeks. The money or, or give to the pie for a free. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, this, uh, I, I keep the team to Wallen. Wallen, uh, Wallen we do Hong Kong to us in 1982. Yeah, I, and uh, I just started Oakland to teaching. 
1977, he are coming. In 1978, uh, four Kung Fu Cup big time in the Alba Street. Uh, Wing Chun, Liga, uh, Tong Kun Do, Tai Chi, he will give him four cup in the Kung Fu. 1978, who is four cup singer and going to do the promotion together? Wang Jin put four boy. Wang Jin put two boy. You know, first promotion, Fu Kong Tech in the YMCA, 1978. Uh, next time, some other people do Taekwondo, Karate, but no Kung Fu and Fu Cup. Not a many cup. In four cup, we do the tournament. And after, we do promotion once a year to 1980. I take a uh, wing, low, low, I take all the boys to Hawaii to fight. And come back, nobody, they will not, don't want promotion anymore. Uh, too hard, Philip. You keep going. Four people with together, only keep. I'm um, keep going to do 42 years. Never stop one year. S since 1978 in YMCA. And this one reason I do do the promotion, the, uh, do the seminar today because 45 years I've been in New Zealand to t open the league. In Four years ago, I take students find overseas since 1980 Hawaii. After I find Australia, find Hong Kong. All them they barely have no like now. We will apply the own air free. The time I working only one hundred dollars a week. The time you apply the pay, pay for the ticket to overseas to to find how much lolo cost the ticket. Very hard. Yeah. Every time we want to go, hit the door nice and the student get get safe. Very hard borrow some money. And I go to we do a lot of demonstration to, uh, to make some money to buy a ticket. From 1980 to Hawaii, 19, 1981, Australia, 1982, find Hong Kong or Kung Fu and I decided, I said, no, that's no good. Five, two years, I tell him, that, that's no good. Too hard. I'm so hard, I'm struggling. The students very really hard. Want to go. Uh, Lolo followed me to 1982 to Hong Kong. And after I said, no, I'm no, no, no more five Kung Fu tournament. No money. And got a pipe, problem to pipe for every. That's why I think uh, there's no future. It's too hard. That's why we start changing to Thai boxing. In Hong Kong, I think I, I helped my uncle the teaching. In night time, he, because he, he lived in Thailand for five for years. And he had free fight in Thailand, Thai boxing. And he's a very smart guy. He knows so many different style of Kung Fu. And in night time, after the student go home, he start show me some Thai boxing or some different other Kung Fu, Kung Fu, different style Kung Fu in Hong Kong. That's 1968. And that's why I, I, the time I start know about the Thai boxing. All the day, day in China, we have fights in Thai boxing. Some lot of students from Thailand, they go to China to, to school. And they're very smart, they all know, oh, we know, know Thai boxing. They go to keep a lot of other people hard time. And we do Kung Fu, all, all have a lot of fights with them. But they come, we, we just know that they're very, very good. And up there to, to Hong Kong, my uncle teaching, show me a lot about Thai boxing. So I and got, got idea in, in my mind. I, I, I come to New Zealand we, since 1982, after we, 
we do a lolo, we go to the Hong Kong. Doing a Kung Fu tournament, and no money, too hard. And I decided to change it to, to full contact Thai boxing. King more, 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 more professional. We are Kung Fu or, or, or mostly amateur. And, and after we, we start being, I start being some people from overseas coming. 1987, 87, I, I take the first Thai boxing trip to Kiel to New Zealand, the, how, the gym. The time I, my gym's in New Zealand, start the Wang Bang, start the gym, the teaching seminar or teaching students. Thai boxing. And after, since 1987, we've been a lot of fire, lot fire from, to Thailand, fire all the time, fire all the time. And uh, since, since, since the day, and we, we have been, been, been different country from overseas to come to New Zealand to fight, to fight. The time of, and I had more, I had more promotion. One year, probably three times, four times a year, all the time, you know. A lot of different promotions. I went to the Hamilton promotion, I went to the Wellington promotion, uh, everywhere I go. Just try to, try to keep going. All the day, no, not now. Very tough. Very, long, not, not easy. Yeah. Mm, but now, you know, New Zealand is being, we go being 45 years, we got, it's being, Get strong, strong. And I'm the one. I'm, I do think I, I never, I never. Where I start, I don't last stop. I think this minute how hard, many times I really hard. I still keep going. When first I go to teaching people, I swear myself. I think I promise myself. If I'm not, I go to teaching. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know uh, let myself down. I go let Liga in the, in the overseas strong. I will, I will do my best. I got to teach and train a lot of good students. That's why I like promotion. But all the day, I in Hong Kong, I go, I, I won't go to the fight. They say, no, you have to belong to some socializing, being cup. You were from the beginning, fight up. I got no chance to fight. So I come to New Zealand since 78, I start doing promotion from 78. Uh, Liga, we've been 45, we got so many, so many good champions in the world. We fight for 40 years now, stop. From, since I start from Hawaii. And we've been whole world, UK, Asian, Australia, Japan, Thailand, China, many, many countries we've been. Yeah. Uh, long, 19, 1993, we go to the China, Hong Kong, yeah, Zhong, Zhong Kong Wai, uh, Zhong Kong Wai go to the China, 1993, they fight in Guangzhou, 1993, they fight in Hong Kong. We go, we pick all the law, law, laws. No loss of people. All the best, we are big in ball. Yeah, we've been, been, 1992, I take them, uh, AD, uh, uh, Fenta, Chong Beng, Fine Mark Kel, 1992. In 1993, we fight a lot of fight after, fight Hong Kong all the time. You, you do very well, doing good. This, the, the, 40 years, we, 40 years we've been overseas to fight. Liga has been very strong. At, at me and Chopa, Chopa 2000, Chopa even not New Zealand champion. He win the first eight men, 70 kilo uh, in Australia. Four world champion, one all night. Chopa in not New Zealand champion. He picked them all. Uh, Pick them all. In after K1 coming, Sopa pick them. K1, 
S1 or top win or win the title champion. Young we be do Hong Kong, we win the Hong Kong, young win Hong Kong two times. Uh, young win two times or five, four times or two times or win, win two times. <coughs> this is the little league I first faced with. And I hope now in New Zealand we got about five, six generalizers. I'm faced one. I'm Lolo, come here, please. Lolo is, is the longest student in New, Ze New Zealand, Lolo. Yeah. Being 1978, Lolo olden days, very, very good kicking. His, his kicking is so powerful. Before in the Alba Street, my, my friend that comes to see, see Lolo training. Lolo do the sidekick. The back so big, heavy coming. Lolo, one sidekick. One, 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 one sidekick. Whole big fire. And Lolo, Lolo's kick so powerful. And yeah, yeah. He, his kick is so strong. And Lolo, honestly, Lolo is so nice personality. Lolo, 42 years of me. He, Lolo, talked to, to me. All spider will speak and talk to me. Not many people in the world can do that. So much we speak. Same thing in teaching your student. You like your, your student, but we speak to you. Same. Like me, Lolo, who is just like the family, like father, father and son. 42 years. How many people in the world can do 42 years? We stop going there. Sometimes he take one bottle of wine to my place. I see him we'll drink. It's just la, la, say my son, no. La, la, Lolo, yeah, it's Lolo. Lolo, 1981, for Lolo, I near and near have big fight. He pulls Lee, he's a senior, senior CA, with uh, William Chung. I take, 1981, I take five boy to Australia to fight, for a tournament. Australia got a hunger fight now. I take five boys, Lolo, Wing, and some other boy. Five for two days. Five for two days. And I got three boys to get to the semi final. Or open division. I take five boys, five Australia, hungry people. We could go three to the semi final. And Lolo, five the semi final, five William Jones. Student. Two story, Lolo still here. And um, 81. Send me one. And after the after the fight. And I saw the wave we the five over. I saw the wave we as William Chung to the rain. Three thousand people in the Melbourne Town Hall. In, in front of 3,000 people, I saw him, the scorecard, touch the scorecard. He tried the scorecard, go away. Tried the scorecard, go away. Then I waited to ask the judge. I said, hey, what's happened? They tell me, very image, only two judges. And listen, not, not, not any lawyer. So, two judges, very hard. In, he said, I don't understand how they write it. And I asked the two judges, they both are from, from Australia. He said, one put, he said, one, he said, I put draw. And other guy, he said, I put your, your student wing. And I waited to ask the William Chung, I think. What's happened? How come we throw the scorecard away? He said, I don't understand how they're writing. I think, one, one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how they're writing. I think, I think this is impossible. He said, four again. I said, how? Four is over. How are you four again? I fucking, yeah, I know he, you know, fly over and he throw the scorecard away. 
and, and he tell me, go to bargain. I said, no, they don't bargain. You and me fight. So I said, oh, no, no, no. Get, get my pardon? The, the guy that, that Dick was talking about, the William Jim, if you, if you guys watch the history of uh, Wing John, they make it uh, a trilogy on, on, on Netflix, uh, Yip Man. This guy is a direct uh, student of Yip Man. He was about Bruce Lee. Oh. And, he, and he's very famous for that in, in Australia until people telling him to fight in front of the whole town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he come now, he, he come to New Zealand. 1977, to open a team teaching. Yeah. He's famous. Uh, to, yeah, he's very famous. He, he's good. He's kind of good. He's very good. Yeah, very good. But, but you know, just, it's not the, the time I'm here. I'm still here. 1981. Yeah, I'm, only, I'm only over, just over 30, 30. You know, he cannot, you know, the, the, the 40, over 40 years. I've been in the whole world, many different countries, many different jobs, many different laws. A lot of, lot of things happen. I understand. But just, he tried to score card go white. It's our first time to see He was pretty much the boss of the Chinese community in the Chinatown, but Chief Fugality in front of everyone. No, no, he just can't hang on. I don't care. When I'm angry, I don't care. <laughs> no, no, you have to be fair. It'd be fair, let's make a who. Uh, you think you go, I'm, I'm think I'm good too. And that's, a, that's a, not, not the thing. So the, the principle, uh, just when you get angry, you, 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 don't, you, you, don't, you don't care anything. You know what? Just, yeah. I, I tell them, no, 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 they don't fight you and me. <laughs> just, just try to, that's all. And that's all. I know fight. After I went and come back in the city, you try to. Lloyd, Lloyd, the lead leader to me to apologize the, the thing happened. I think, oh, but we're still very good friends anyway. But this is, uh, something happens, happens. Fighting is, in the world, you, you know, you, like me, I've been four, 40 years overseas everywhere, so many different countries to fight. I take Topa, fight Germany, fight the, the Germany champion. Germany champion, Lolo, he take top out right before he lock up top out. Spring back you know, the guy from Germany. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, he take yeah. him over the time. He, he, he take him for a year. So I lost him by springing, lock up springing. In second time I lost, I, I have been put this top out. I think he's springing really good. We have always been put this in New Zealand fight all over Taekwondo people all the time. And from beginning first one, top out. Beat him every round. Second round, Topa put him in a cap. In, in her round, he kicked Topa in the goal. Kick, uh, but Topa's on top in the, in, in, in the, in the point anyway. In the fourth round, Topa kicked him in the goal. Good. And he knew them. And, he, and then he wanted to try to get up. And he called up. He's lost whole fight anyway. And it's called on me, can I know it's that, it's that, it's that. After he lay down again. And after, stop long time, and, and the, the, the way we decide, put, put, he, he win the fight, top her loss. So I never see any, any promotion like this. The guy lost from beginning to end, and, 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 and he can call. No fight, no decision. No decision because he hurt. Okay, that, that is fair. Mm -hmm. But he cannot say he from from beginning lost whole fight. And he put him in the way. After the fight finished in the internet. Every, because in the UK, you fight in one country, all the country you can see. On the TV you can see them fight. And everyone bow them off. Saying, wow, well, how we can put Put the, because he's from Germany, he fight the promotion in Germany, and he put the fight the, 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 in the Germany. Guy win. And, and now, fighting in the world is so many, so many things. But anyway, Lolo, 
in no is is in in New Zealand low low in wing this be me long time wings be me 45 year 40 year low low 42 year now la i la la low low talk about his history in the New Zealand league they were just okay let let uh it's another one to begin because there's so many experiences <laughs> Um, and good to see John, John Conway here at the Rebel. John came with us when we went to, uh, first time we went into to China. But I'll, I'll give you a, 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 just a brief uh, history on myself and, and how I started with, uh, with Sipu. Um, I broke my collarbone playing rugby. And I was just, uh, he was healing up. But he wasn't good enough to, to play rugby, you know. So you just call upon you, you know rugby players now that if you you know you'll go back into place, but if you if you take off, you're gonna go back to square one. So about a bit three three weeks after, and I'm just walking along uh, Upper Street and I saw the sign Lee Gar. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go and try that. So I walked up and uh, went upstairs. And here, all these guys, they were doing, you know, punching and sweeping kick from one end of the gym to the other side. And, and, I, uh, and I was sitting there uh, for a couple of minutes and, and I asked Sifu how much. And uh, Sifu said, oh, $25, uh, a month, $25 joining fee. And I, and I just had to have 50 bucks on my pocket. Because at, at the time I was at school, but I was having some part-time work. That was the only time that Sifu ever charged me. Because uh, after that one, and he never charged me because I was the first one at the gym and the last one to leave. Um, training really, really hard. Because uh, that day I think I walk home because I used up all my bus there uh, you know, to join and, 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 and you know. And we have a, have a lot of uh, funny stories. Um, uh, when Sifu was talking about uh, when we, he'll give us a, a three months notice that we're going to Hawaii. And we, me and Wayne, it was good because uh, me and Wayne, we were saving our money instead of going to the pub. Because we had to, I think, uh, I think back then we had to pay $1,200 or $1,500. No, 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 oh, everything near yeah. 2000 Yeah. I, I, I paid the most well. Yeah, so if we, 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 see we said, you guys come up with this and I'll, you know, help you out with the, with the rest. And I remember, uh, saving hard out, and we got our money. I think Sifu helped Wayne, and then uh, and paid the rest of the food and everything <laughs> when we were in Hawaii. But that's what we were doing. We were, you know, we, we used to pay ourselves to go to Hawaii, Hong Kong, uh, Australia. Some of the young guys now are being spoiled because it's not only to look after you guys there, but pay you guys good good fight best too, um, and. And I remember the first time we went to, to China, it was on a, that's when things were started getting more professional. And uh, I think it was me, Ray Seffo, John Conway, Alan Drew, uh, the Mrs. Boy there, eh? and, and Moni. Yeah, and um, I, there's so many experiences, but I'll tell you this because this was a really, really funny story. And uh, we went to, uh, uh, we were supposed to stop up in Hong Kong and then we catch the train from Hong Kong to to, uh, to Guangzhou and then we fly from Guangzhou to an area called uh, Guangxi, you know, it's, uh, it's right at the, close to the border of Vietnam and, you know, yeah. so, but Hong Kong um, Kowloon Airport was, uh, had the shortest runway, so there was a hail, hail storm and when there's a hail storm, all the flights are delayed by 12 hours. But at that time, this when the, the communist were, uh, wall came down and people started traveling from China to Hong Kong and back. Uh, so it was impossible for us to book another train. But we have this little minibus and a crazy little looking guy there and we have an inspector of police and we said, what, what the hell is, you know? expect the police doing here, you know. So we, <laughs> we, we hop on the bus and then we, 
after 12 hours from Auckland to Hong Kong, from Hong Kong to Guangzhou, uh, they went they went motorways and highways like they are today. In fact, they were still uh, they were still building because they know the West is going to start going in back and forward and start doing a lot of trades and tourists and stuff. So the whole trip uh, from Hong Kong to to Zhangzhou I took another 12 hours. Or 12 hours or longer than we What do you read? No, you no, 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 no. First one to China. No, Zhong Kong, I didn't go. Only uh, Steve. Steve and Eddie and Wei Xi Hu. Sweet. Yeah, then uh, May, 1993, May 15th in the uh, Guangzhou. Guangzhou, yeah. Did you come to Guangzhou one? The Guangzhou up at the end of the year. Yeah. This is free, free Thai boxing. Uh, the Thai boxing get locked out by, by Wei Xi Hu. Oh, yeah, by, yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, he fired uh, uh, fire the Guangzhou. He locked Wei, locked him up. Yes, yes, yeah. I forgot his name. But the big tall Thai yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's a Thai champion. Any, anyway, we, we took us another 12 hours there, but this, this driver, this driver was driving us there because there's no motorway. It was they were still trying to build a road, and he was driving on a footpath, and you know, and we got stopped by military police, and they already reaching to the gun, and then the then the inspector police hopped out and smoothed thing. Now we realize why yeah, why she was there for. So because of we were, you know, this guy was trying like a crazy man, and he has to. Because otherwise we're gonna miss our deadline, we're gonna miss our plane from Guangzhou to, to Guangxi. So he was driving on a footpath and everywhere, and then we would just miss these big trucks, you know, and you know, and Alan Drew said, I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill the driver. Ray Sim said, No, no, I'm gonna kill him best. <laughs> but remember, it was a 12 hours uh, travel. So after about three, four hours, we all relaxed. Oh, that was a close one, you know. <laughs> we realized this. <laughs> we can't do anything about it. You know, this guy, he, we have to have him, otherwise we're not going to meet the deadline. So uh, they must have had big disguise. Maybe the police uh, caught him because they couldn't catch him or something, you know. But w if we didn't have him, there's no way we're going to make it on time. Because he was trying, he, uh, I'm, I've been with a lot of drunken drivers in my stupid days. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing even come close to this guy. Man, you know? And he was drinking there for 12 hours. <laughs> So anyway, and I'm not sure if the, it's the same trip or not, we went to the, to the market and then Ray Sefo always fancy, Ray always fancy himself as a Mr. You know, bargain of the year. <laughs> so he, we went in there, we looked around and then Ray came up with this LA Ram uh, jacket, hey. And then we said, that's a nice jacket, Ray. Said, How much? Oh, I got it, I got it, put, man. I bargained it down to $75 uh, in New Zealand, uh, I mean, uh, Chinese money. It was a nice place. Of course, it was an imitation one, but you can't tell the difference. So Ray was walking around so proud of it. And just before we walked out, I saw a same jacket on the, around the corner, and it was $65. <laughs> and I said, Rebel, let's all buy one to piss him off, because he's thinking that. <laughs> and and, and Rebel said, hell no, I'm going to buy it down. That is a good tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Rebel bought the ticket, even Shifu bought one. That's a lovely one. Thinks he was going to start that. And we all walk around. It was half an hour walk from there to the hotel, and Ray was swearing the whole time he threatened to go and beat up the other guy for ripping him up. <laughs> yeah. But you go back to the, go back to the, to the, the experience in, the, in, in Melbourne. After I uh, fought this guy, Rich Payne, he was an Australian champion. I, I, I thought I wanted to fight because I got him with a spinning back kick in the head and outpointing him and stuff. Then uh, my cousin was training with Fuling Jung. So they invited me over. And, and that's the first time I, 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 I was really scared because he would, you know. I didn't know what, what was going on. So I went in there, I didn't realize there was their, their gym. They were invited to the party. And I went in there and Sifu came and check, check on us. Where's Lolo? He come with Joe. Then he found out that I was at William Jung Gym. 
And Sifu got really angry at me, and then I was, uh, I had no idea. I said, I just broke up with, I just challenged one of my best friends before I got a view. <laughs> now he went back. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I learned a lot of things, that, you know, with, with ethics. I learned a lot of things from Sifu over the years. I learned about uh, how, you, how you give your students and other students from the Liga gym come to your gym and you try not to claim them as yours. They can come and, and train as one gym, but they can still fight out of, you know. Um, we used to do that with, with Rampon and all these boys and, you know, so I, I learned a lot of those uh, uh, code of honor, if you like, back in the days. And I'm, and I'm still uh, go, by, go by that today. You know, so uh, thank you very much, Sifu. Okay. Yeah, it's been no, really no, awesome. Thank yeah. you. Mm, today, you know, no, like, like student, you know, like, like, like Lolo, over 40 years in, in, in the world, not many students still like us and go, going so, so well, you know. But when you teaching the student, you always try to get student can we speak to you. One one jelly wasn't past the zero. Lolo, la here, la Lolo, Tony, Yang, Wichi, uh, uh, they, they, la wing, Topa, then Lolo, Lolo here, not, not here tonight. They fish jelly wasn't, la, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the master in the, they fish jelly wasn't in New Zealand. One day, I'm, I'm not in New Zealand. Lolo will be, in charge of all the league, uh, all the students, anyway. Yeah. So everyone try to speak to Lolo. And he's the first one, Lolo, uh, Wings is the second one. And now, to the gym, now Tony's look up to the city league now. Tony's a nice, nice, nice guy. N nice guy. Uh, come, Tony. Lolo, uh, Tony. Yeah, Tony now look, look up to Sudi Liga now. Yeah, Tony been with me 20 years, but he's a very nice guy, good personality. Now let Tony the things up. Okay, everyone. Um, yeah, for those that don't know me, the few of you that are here, uh, I run the gym now uh, under Sifu's blessing, of course. And um, so, sometime after. In 1982, after Sifu decided that he was going to transition from Kung Fu to Thai boxing, I was just being born. <laughs> and then uh, I grew up and I did a lot of research on martial arts and I did that research by playing Street Fighter and <laughs> watching uh, Kung Fu movies, watching uh, Van Damme. And I, I discovered that uh, Thai boxing was the, the most effective martial art and so I I wanted to start training and I went I went to buy a pair of shorts from the guy that was selling Thai boxing shorts and I said, oh, where shall I go to train? And he said, the best place for you if you want to learn real Muay Thai boxing is Lee Ga in town. So I went up there, I got my mum to drop me off, I was 17, walked up the stairs, we used to be in the bottom of town, there was about five flights of stairs to get up to the top. And then it was actually, I didn't know at the time, but it was the night before the Sifu's big promotion. It was the first promotion of the millennium. We just rolled over into the year 2000. So it was the way in night. And he said, yeah, yeah, come in, yeah, yeah. Pay your fees. It was, uh, at the time it was $60 to join, $60 for a month of training. I paid my fees. There was one guy that just happened to be, he wasn't fighting that night, so he was doing his own training. He just took me under his wing, held the pads for me, showed me how to throw a kick and I just, all these guys started coming in to weigh themselves and for they were fighting the next night. Look at all these fighters, you could just tell, you could see the energy, there was Chopper, Dave Garn, um, Daniel Hatch, uh, there was Pad Thai, and, and a whole lot of really experienced fighters. And I, was, I was in awe of them all and um, I went home like buzzing that night. <laughs> went to the fights the next night, Chopper knocked his opponent and out. Um, there was a guy, Konjak, he was a tight, it was just uh, Dave, Dave Garn, he, he knocked his opponent out. I was like, man, these guys are good. And so I, I just fell in love with it. I, I trained every day. Um, and towards the end of that year, so that was 2000, I had my first fight. <coughs> I was the first fight of the, on the card on the night, and 
and Chopper was the main event he was fighting for his first world title. And um, I ended up fighting one of Chopper's friends. My opponent pulled out. Chopper had brought one of his friends to the, to the weigh-in with him. And Steve was like, oh, I don't have a fight for you. And Chopper was like, oh, my mate will fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, we're, we're the exact same weight. And I was like, oh. I, was, I was overconfident. I thought, man, this guy hasn't even trained. This is going to be easy. I've been training all year for this. So I got in the ring and I was like, yeah, sweet. And then I just got hit harder than I ever hit in my life. But, okay, went back to the corner. Eddie gave me a slap, what are you doing? <laughs> I went out the next, uh, next round and I stopped him. Uh, grabbed him, knees, you know, we'd all, we always trained a lot of knees. Um, and yeah, he, he went down, couldn't get up. Chopper won his world title. Yeah, continued to train, fight. Um, I made, you know, some of the closest people, closest friends I've ever made in my life. They're still, still a big part of my life today. And, uh, Sifu took us to China. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Same, it, same yeah. time with Isua, yeah, Israel, uh, Slava, Slava uh, Eugene. Lol boy, uh, yeah, six years. Yeah, there was, there was a whole bunch yeah. of us. We had a really good trip. Jordan Thai. Jordan Thai. Yeah. And um same me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, ten years ago. Yeah, first time Isua went to China to fight. Ten years ago. Ten years time. About Tony being doing well. No, he's since the tickets team over near six years. <coughs> doing good. Yeah, he do a lot of promotion. Yeah, no, no, the team's are very busy. I'm happy, you know. Now, like for me, there's a lot of league forever. I keep New in New Zealand. Can keep going and keep going long time. One 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 general license, personal license, and keep going. And, like, so I come to, come New Zealand for uh, come New Zealand for. In one thing, I, I teaching, I teaching children. From what beginning, I'm willing to I think it makes so easy not not keep any Chinese hard time. It's good. I've been 45 years here. Any any of my student keep keep any Chinese boy hard time or keep him hiding. I say no, make soon. No. Now in here tonight, not not many old students. Like uh, young young young. Have uh, been with me long time. I take a young fight Hong Kong a couple of times. Uh, Slava been uh, been with long time. You know, Slava been with Slava. Kim Liga, lot of good name. Liga. So, so yeah, we did. Uh, Hong Kong way. We been with China, Hong Kong for three times. Uh, even uh, Eugene, Eugene, uh, Eugene, Jason Sati. They will come from Lolo's student. Yeah, they're low, low, low. They're doing very well now. They do the promotion tonight in the King of the Ring. You think now, the, the team ranking number one in the world. City kickboxing now, they name ranking number one in the world. Liga in New Zealand, we are very, very, very strong. Very good name in the world. It's made up. I call Liga or I call Liga. I, I can call Philip Lem Lemga, but I don't. Because I start from Liga from beginning, uh, forever. I never change anything. I, uh, I, I do Liga 1961, 59 years ago. I never change it. A lot of people can go, a lot of people can change your name, or to harmony, or or, or, or Tonga style, you know. This we speak, this we speak in, in English. Uh, he is from, we, you know where you come from. Yeah. And Lolo good enough. Lolo swings so many champions, you know. And today, I'm just happy. I know, uh, I got Liga, is, Liga because of, uh, from the southern China. Use a lot of hang. Today I got to show you a little bit Liga, Liga Kung Fu some hang movement. Uh, because a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of students didn't know. Okay, Liga, by six thing. By six thing, lot hang in the front, lot, lot hang in, lot, lot lick in the front. You leave lick the front, leave hang in the front. Same. In Liga, use a lot of hang. Hang, hang, more, hang, more, hang, 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 hang
I go slide the pen. I see how we need to make some bicycle. Uh, bicycle, pang pang sing in can can take this. Oh, the, before I go slava which young. Oh, come so come come to come to learn, please come here. Please. Yeah. So okay, I, Alex here too. Alex been a long time. Sorry. Alex been a long time. <laughs> Alex from the from the from the. In, in, uh, jelly, 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 jelly. Come here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this, this boy, the Lolo, old boy, not come tonight. Today, no. But this, this boy, they been a long time. Lolo, 42 years. He knows that I've been before. Or at least 20 years. Long time, no. I hope he was king style, keep legal. The room name for, for forever. Okay, today I'm going to show some little basic. Hey, uh, Tong Kong Wai, come here, please. Tong so, Kong Wai. Yeah, just want to acknowledge Repo. Like Sifu said, uh, you know, Repo's been with me for a long time. Yeah. And he opened, he opened his gym under yeah. the Liga brand. Yeah, long time. Same as, uh, like, Richie, you, you guys got to use your own name, but thank you very much. And hopefully, after this, we can put it up some kind of system to, to help the. Uh, yeah. Uh, if, I, if I can a moment, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you my side of the story. Well, my side of the story is a little bit different because I did. Um, I boxed for a long time before I went to kickboxing, and as a boxer, we didn't like kickboxing. We did, definitely didn't like kickboxing. So uh, we had a guy at the ABA gym called Gil Sullivan. He said, "Why don't you guys? We were boxing. Why don't you guys um, fight some kickboxers?" So. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll give you 10 tickets and it's to sell. And we're like, mate, 15 or 12 bucks a ticket. And for an amateur boxer, it's, it's a good, good amount of money. And this is, this is in the 80s. So we'd have these boxing, uh, kickboxing fights and we'd try and, because we had to throw eight kicks or six kicks above the, the waist. And if we didn't, we'd lose the fight. So I'd either knock the guy out or lost the fight, but I didn't, didn't really care. And then, um, so that was a good, I had a couple. Probably one a month, and then we'd carry on with our boxing. And then I, and that was uh, right up to 87. In 87, I, I went to Australia. Um, I had a lot of fights over there, and I tried out for the 88 Olympics. So I was, I was fighting a lot of boxing fights. I was in the Australian Olympic team, and I, I didn't, didn't make the finals, but I was still in the team training with a bunch of really good Australian boxers from heavyweights like um, Bruno and Bantamweight. And then it um, didn't, didn't go, so I went to Thailand, and because I boxed in Thailand, I boxed in the Philippines, I boxed in uh, Malaysia, and um, all over Australia. So I quite liked Thailand, so I decided to, um, I, would, I won't amateur box anymore, just go and live in Thailand for, for a little while. So we had a, a few um, Muay Thai fights in Thailand, but really washed up ex-fighters in, in a bar, so, and I was like paid 50 American dollars. So when I came back to New Zealand, I had a, a whole bunch of fights, some good ties, and then um, I, I, I trained at several kickboxing gyms. Simon Scott was one of them, Lou Vickers was another. And Lou Vickers said, I'll oh, we'll get you a kickboxing fight. I went, Yeah, fine, fine. So, and, and still, I didn't like kickboxing, I didn't like kickboxers. <laughs> so, we went to um, Sifu's gym in New Zealand, and I fought one of Lowell's guys. And I had a few of my friends there. We weighed in, yeah, weighed in, weighed in. And I go, oh, How many guys has your opponent got? Uh, how many fights has he got? I said, we got about six or seven fights. So, so I had over a hundred fights. So ding ding, and, and Lovell's guy just kicked the shit out of me. He, <laughs> he beat the crap out of me. So I thought, mm, okay. I thought, and then I saw you a little bit dairy. later on in the dairy. I said, yeah. where's this gym of yours? <laughs> so I went along, and um, so I, I went along. It was at the beginning of the year, and I was by far the, the worst. And my goal was to, to try and be competitive and sparring <laughs> to uh, most of the guys. But the, the unique thing, and I've been to many gyms, um, not just here in Australia, but all over the world. And it wasn't, I, I, I found um, that at Belmont Liga and the Liga family was going to be the last gym I would go to because there, there was nothing better. Um, it's not so much Lola's knowledge and teaching, it's the way he taught and, and, the, and the, the bond that it's for 
last guy's head, like, um, in boxing in Germany, the other Germans, there was like sub, sub gym, subcultures, but we all had the same um, goal, we all had the same effort, um, so we were tight, and one of my fights, when I, I took a heavy knock to the head and went down, all I could think about was um, the uh, lead our way, and that got me not just up on the, off the ring, off the canvas to win a fight, but in life, you know, um, I often think about the lead our way, and lead our choices, um, and it's really steered me in a, in a good path. And this is a unique experience because I'm, I was in from the outside, and when I was in the inside of the kickboxing, it was just a, like a big old family. It was, it was nothing like it. So um, that, you know, that's my story, and I think it's very unique because I never liked kickboxing, but um, now it was such a huge passion when I was fighting it, when Muay Thai and kickboxing. Yeah, so it's good to have you here, brother. Okay, Liga, Liga, uh, Kung Fu Pung Po, it's a lot of swego. All the hang, it's Pung Po, it's a lot of swego. And swego, nail stop. Yeah, he can't take all, uh, Liga is hang, taking one is different. Different take the same thing. Now I got to, uh, 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 you call it I'm going to sell you a little bit some some kung fu techniques. kung fu, some very basic, basic one. He uh, used the phoenix, punch to the, to the head, and punch his head, in another one. Not hand coming, this one, same thing, same thing, take, and try to follow the elbow, follow, follow elbow, yeah, <laughs> he got the one, hello, hello, he, two, and follow the elbow, yeah, it's the one, the bicycle, okay, try to get, slide the pen, come on, get another pen,
and sui. Okay? One, two, and sui. Two pounds and one elbow, okay? Come on, come on, Tim.
啊，不是，这这这个是反，然后打这个，呃，这个是这样，是这样。哦哦，对，他他就是这样打，这样打，打这个掌这样打。就就粘卡了。对，然后你这，这他就是，然后他就这样，啊啊啊，然后,后来就走，也就是。手手掌，手掌双掌，对，用掌这样翻，翻，翻，呃，对，这个是翻，后，这个是掌，对，然后这这个是外翻，外翻过来的，然后这样来，对，外推，对，然后再打这个，这样来，对对，那你得走夹着，走夹着，对，对，你看那复制这这，对，哦，这样，然后，然后，再翻，再翻弯，是，哦，对了。对了，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，
mother, where, where are you going to stay? Yeah. <laughs> 